Welcome to Kazuya Miyakawa Sake and Side Dish Pairing Channel. This time, I would like to introduce Volume 31, Yoshino Kawa Ekigo Jayanmai. I'm not tall. I want to be higher, like Giant Baba and Shinichi Kawaii. The two are from Nagata Prefecture. Eating good quality rice from Ekigo will make you taller. Today is Yoshino Kawa Ekigo Jayanmai from Nagata Prefecture. I don't know the relationship between Sergio Ekigo and Ekigo Junmai. <laughs> It's delicious. It invades internal organs. It invades internal organs. This man, the president of Nishi no Miyabi Tokiwa in Yuda Onsen, Yamaguchi Prefecture, has acquired numerous sake qualifications. Kazuya Miyakawa's Sake and Side Dish pairing channel 100 episodes of Sake. The sake we are introducing this time is Ekigo Jayanmai. Just listening to the naming makes it feel like it was made from delicious rice. Alcohol content is suppressed to 13 degrees. This sake is made for the purpose of bringing out the flavor of rice. It has a smooth texture and a strong rice flavor, and is recommended for beginners of sake. The flavor of sake is strong and light, and it is divided into four types, high scent and low scent. This is Kuenshu, Soshu Jainshu Jukushu. I think the zoning of Yoshinokawa Ekigo Jayamai introduced today is around here. Since it is pure rice wine, it has a strong taste and a certain aroma, but I think it will be giant shoe with a strong aroma of rice. Yashinagawa Company, Limited, which manufactures Yoshinokawa Ekigo Jayanmai, is located in the brewing town of Sataya, Nogoka City, Nagata Prefecture. Sataya is a town where the brewing industry is concentrated. A collection of sake, soy sauce, and miso breweries, it has a nostalgic appearance. The Yashinagawa building was built in the Taisho era. The ivy is entwined all over the wall, and the warehouse is powerful. It was founded in 1548 during the Warring States period, when Kenshin Yusuji was active. It has a history of 470 years, and is considered to be the oldest sake brewery in Nagata Prefecture. Yuki Minamesa, who became president in 2016, said in his greetings at the time of his appointment as follows. The scale of the warehouse has grown, but it is mechanized, but not automated. Based on this creed, we continue to brew sake based on handmade daijinjo, which is supported by traditional techniques. In October 2019, we built a tourist facility called Sake Museum Jokura on the premises of Yashinagawa Sake Brewery. Renewal of Jokura, a warehouse that was created in the Taisho era and is a nationally designated tangible cultural property. There is an exhibition space where you can feel the history and sake that can only be drunk here. It is a space to connect with Yashinagawa fans. Unchanging technology and a willingness to take on challenges. You can also see the idea that because it doesn't change, it keeps changing. In Nagata Prefecture, which is a fierce battleground for sake brewing, the ability to lead the industry for a long time. It is clear from the numerous awards. Since 1965, the Kanto Shinetsu National Taxation Bureau's Liquor Appraisal Committee has won a total of about 70 prizes. Since 1956, the National New Sake Appraisal has won a total of about 30 gold awards. Behind the award is the craftsmen who support uncompromising sake brewing. 
Mr. Shoichi Washizu, who is said to be a famous Showa era, was the first to receive the medal with yellow ribbon for contributing to the development of not only Yashinagawa, but the entire brewing industry. The technique of the famous Mr. Mori has been handed down to the present day. The water to be charged is well water on the premises. It seems that the meltwater of the Higashiyama mountain range overlooking Nagoka city and the underground water of the magnificent Shinano river are mixed underground. Soft water that contains a moderate amount of minerals, and this water that finishes the liquor with a soft and light taste will be delicious even with tea or coffee. Drink Yoshinokawa Ekigojainmai. It is delicious. Delicious. Anyway, it is light and the aftertaste is so refreshing that I think, is it water? For a moment. However, since it is pure rice sake, the taste of sake remains firmly on the tongue. It tastes like rice. It is likened to freshly cooked rice and freshly made rice cake. First is cold. Hey at the sake means normal temperature. It is said that the temperature is 20 to 25 degrees Celsius, and the temperature that makes you feel slightly cold when you put it in your mouth is good. When you want to enjoy the flavor of sake and the umami of rice, such as long-aged sake and pure rice sake, hey at room temperature is better than chilled sake. Next is hot kenzaki. It's about 50 degrees. When heated, the aroma of rice spreads even more. There is a good drink. Jianshu is a sake that directly conveys the taste of rice. This time, I prepared a greasy yellow tail. Squeeze the kaboso to give it a refreshing feel. I'll have it with ponzu sauce. This fat and jayu maishu are perfect. Delicious. It's very refreshing and easy to drink. Rice is good, so I think the sake is very good so that you can directly feel the taste of rice. In Yashinagawa, there is also a dry sake that belongs to Soshu in the lower left. Please also try Yoshinokawa Jensen Karakuchi. Then everyone, please subscribe to the channel as usual. Please give us a high rating. We will continue to introduce delicious sake and side dishes. Please look forward to it. Also, please check out the young proprietress's channel, Yoshio Miyakawa's Yurue Ryokan Diary. See you in the next video. Thank you very much. Goodbye.